I think much of the dual climate and energy crisis can be addressed by businesses as we have proposed in the context of our Repower EU proposal. Notably, going first and foremost for the low-hanging fruit in terms of energy efficiency, looking at the energy savings, looking at what's the better, more improved, efficient way of doing what we've been doing thus far. In addition to that, investing into renewable technologies, renewable energy and fast forwarding the technological transition that needs to accompany our net zero. So the combination of energy efficiency and buildings, that's critical. And when you look at the building stock, for example, in Europe, uh, over 75% of the building stock is energy inefficient. It was uh, buildings that were uh, built uh, before energy standards were in place. Uh, and therefore, clearly, the retrofitting of uh, the existing building stock uh, is, is important. But it's important when we're doing these retrofits that we do it in the right way. And when Rockwell talks about doing it in the right way, then, of course, we need to focus on energy efficiency. We always say, save as much energy as you can possibly do and then green the rest. So there's a number of things businesses can do. To, to drive this agenda. We can't stand still and just say we offer energy efficiency solutions and then just wait for our customers to come and get them. Uh, we need to constantly innovate. We need to constantly drive these agendas and, and, and uh, drive this decarbonisation. An average person spends about 90% of their time indoors. So that means that we want a building that is run energy efficiently. We want a building that has low uh, emissions to reach our CO targets. But we also want a building that's comfortable to be in. And comfortable might sound like a bit of a luxury, but comfortable also means uh, higher productivity. It means uh, better learning for kids. It means better health. And that, of course, has a huge societal impact, but actually also a financial backside. So that's why as we're going through the vision, for instance, of the EVD, we need to start from the energy efficiency perspective, but we need to make sure that we anchor all these other elements 